What do you mean by area? When we talk of area, we are referring to the space occupied by a flat shape. We can also say it's the surface of an object and it is measured in square units. Centimeter, meter, kilometer, these are just some examples of what we call units. And when we say square units, this means they are being used twice. That's why you see the exponent 2, and this can be read as square centimeters, square meters, and square kilometers. To clearly understand what it means, let's take a look at some examples. So what we have said earlier, area is the space occupied by a flat shape, like the shape of this carpet, for example. This has the shape of a rectangle, and it is flat. When we say flat shape, we are talking about a plane figure or a shape with two dimensions or two measurements. In this example, we can measure the length and the width. Now, suppose the length and the width are measured in centimeter as a unit. To find the area is simply multiply the two measurements. As you can see, we use the unit cm twice. So for the answer, it comes with a unit centimeter raised to the power of 2. So area is expressed in square units. Let's say the length of this carpet is 12 meters and the width is 10 meters. To find the area would be equal to the length multiplied by the width. All we need to do is substitute the values A for area equals L for length, which is 12 meters, times the width of 10 meters. And this would give us a product of 120. The unit meter was used twice, so we write 2 as the exponent. So our area is 120 square meters. Just a review, to find the area of a rectangle, the formula is very simple. Area equals length times the width. And how do you find the area of a flat shape that is a square? Can we use the same formula as area equals length times width? Of course we can. But a square is a special figure where all sides have equal length. And to emphasize this property of a square, instead of using length times width, we use side times side. Let's say, for example, this given square measures 15 centimeters each side. How do you find the area? This would be area equals side times side. Then substitute the values. Area equals a side of 15 centimeters times another side of the same measurement, which is 15 centimeters. So the area would be the product of 15 times 15. This would give us a product of 225. The unit centimeter was used twice, so this will be written with 2 as the exponent. Our final answer, therefore, is 225 square centimeters. Let's try applying this concept in a word problem. Find the area of a rectangular piece of land with a length of 25 meters and width 11 meters. So basically, all we need to do is find the area of a rectangle, which is area equals length times width. Then substitute the values. Area equals 25 meters for the length and 11 meters for the width. Then multiply. So area equals the product of 25 and 11, which is 275. And the unit meters was used twice, so this will come with 2 as the exponent. Finally, we have an area of 275 square meters. Let's have one last problem. Find the area of a square tile with each side measuring 20 centimeters. This one goes with finding the area of a square. Area equals side times side. We all know that the sides of a square are equal. 
This shouldn't be a problem. Just substitute the values. Area equals 20 centimeters in one side, then multiply with the same number for the other side. And so area is the product of 20 times 20, which is 400, with the unit centimeters that goes with 2 as the exponent. Our area would be 400 square centimeters.